Hi, I will show you new biking uh, add-on. So basically, go to the bike, uh, cycles biker settings, add low poly, high poly pair, then pick the low poly, pick the high poly, add few bike passes, and press bake. This will bake, this will bake in 1K with two times anti-aliasing. So it will render in 2K basically, and then sample, then sample to 1K. Uh, I want to show you now the textures, so you can do this using this preview button. It works, works okay. Uh, so what is the point of this add-on? Uh, the point is that in Blender you can only bake uh, mesh to mesh, but with this add-on you can bake a group of objects, collection instances, hair objects, metaballs, text objects. Basically, I think everything should work. So let's maybe add. Uh, so this is made with uh, Group Pro. I can. Um, I want to bake this to the cube. I will add one more low poly, high poly pair. Pick the low poly, pick the high poly, and one more pair. Pick the plane as the low poly, and for high poly, I want to use this uh, collection. So I will switch to use collection, and pick the active one. And uh, for the hair. I will need the opacity and press bake. And after the bake is done, I will show you how to use the channel packing. The channel packing will work only if you have hair tool because it will use the feature from the hair tool add-on. I will update the preview of the textures. So you see those are here and uh, it seems to bake correctly. If you want higher quality, you will have to bump up anti-aliasing. Just remember, it will render them in four times, four times the resolution. So let's go to the channel packing. When you have this feature, then you can go to texture channel mixing, and it will create this setup. We can use Shift A, add combine RGB, Shift A, and output combine uh, connect alpha channel connect the curvature and the output texture we can name AAA and set the output path and then save with this button. I want to show you the preview on the texture. So uh, this is how it looks. Maybe let's bake one more pass, for example, uh, depth pass, and I will disable other passes so that we can bake on the depth. And it's done. Let's plug this to green channel and preview how it looks. Now you see there is no margin or padding, even though in the original texture it is it has the padding. This is only issue in the Blender preview of the image. When you save the texture, it will actually have the padding correctly applied in the color channel. Uh, okay, so maybe I can also show you that you have option to preview some of the passes that are geometry node based. So I can preview curvature and this is how it looks. You can adjust the settings and then close the preview and those settings will be applied in here. Or maybe I can show you the depth pass. The depth pass is not really suitable for displacement but it will be good enough for simple planar bake like that or for the sculpt mask. For more complicated 3D objects like in here, it would probably not be working too good. Okay, so I can close the preview. Maybe uh, if you want, you can also add geometry node based amend occlusion. This is how it looks. I can bump up samplers. Or if I want, I can invert the normals to get thickness like result. And okay, uh, one more thing. There is uh, option to quickly adjust the baking distance. So with this ray distance, I can preview that. And you see everything will be baked in this distance. I can adjust this like so and preview how it looks. And for example, on Suzanne, you see we get ugly spot in here because this is quite complicated setup and 
I can fix that by adjusting the ray distance for the Susanna. Another way to fix is to use custom cage. So uh, I will just use this button and then click, uh, click create cage. And it will create a simple duplicate of low poly with the displays modifier. I'm gonna adjust this like so or use this vertex group to adjust the displacement value. And now I want to bake uh, the fixed version of the with the fixed version of order ear. Now instead of baking instead of baking the cube and plane, I can only bake Suzanne with this button. This will basically uh, load the old textures, previous bakes, and put the Suzanne on top of them. So after this can be useful if you have uh, very dense meshes. In this case, this is quite simple scene, so there won't be too much performance difference. And I think I told you almost everything. Uh, maybe I can show you the settings. In here there is there is option to play finish sound. So if you switch to other app, you will know when the bake was finished. Page spread distance. Uh, basically, this add-on is kind of spreading the low poly, high poly pairs around uh, 10 meters from each other, so they are not affecting each other during bake. But if you have uh, bigger objects, this 10 meters may be not enough. So in that case, just increase this spacing distance. And I think that is everything I wanted to show. Hope you like the add-on. See ya.